Watch time is over. What's that? In case, man. <laughs> I see you've plied knifey spoony before. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI here. It is Shits Creek, Episode 7, The Candidate. Is that going to be Moira as a candidate for the town council? Because she, she did impress some people in the last episode. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already, because I have Shits Creek every single week, as well as Brooklyn Nine-Nine, movie reactions, uh, other TV shows that come and go. Nathan For You, which has been great. Jury Duty, which was a lot of fun. Go check that out. And if you want to support the channel a bit further and get early access to my Shits Creek reactions, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. If you're watching this there, Thank you. Hope you, how's your five dollar dues going? Are you getting your money's worth? Let me know in the comments. But let's have a look at Shit's Creek, season two, episode seven, The Candidate. Your wife's big announcement? Again, dear. Clue. You running for town council? Well, excuse me. You're running for town what? council? What? <laughs> Why do they not know about this? Talking about you standing up to council last week, so I just assumed. Never assumed, dear. It makes an ass out of both of us. It's not that <laughs> Council might give you a, an outlet to channel all that passion you have for this town. Good choice of words there, um, Johnny. Okay, maybe I should say somewhere less. Less what? What is what I'm trying to think of? Well, let's hope we don't find it. Okay, all right. I don't know where they're going with this. What is she? Is she gonna run or not? Why are your clothes crammed under my bed? <laughs> really, Alexis? Come on. What friend? Um, Twyla. And have a fun little sleepover. Mm -hmm. No, she's trying to get back with Mutt, isn't she? And she's trying to find stuff out from Twyla. Have you spent more than five minutes with the girl one on one? She could be a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Twyla going to sleep tonight? Be because I'd say she could stay under my bed, but all your disgusting clothes are stuffed under there. So, <laughs> just wondering. And aren't you gonna tidy up for your guest, Alexis? Damn. His seat is up for grabs. I could say something pretty inappropriate right now. Well, I, I'm hoping you don't. <laughs> no, but I could. That's a, that's a real setup. Yeah, yeah, but I, but I was thinking... That would mean we'd work together here at the garage and on council. If I didn't know any better, I... I might think you had a crush on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's funny. I'm only teasing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know, Bob. Not embarrassed. You have no reason to be embarrassed. <laughs> You're a happily married man. Oh, my. And so am I. Okay, gotta go, Bob. Bob, does Bob really have a crush on Johnny? Is that what we just witnessed? <laughs> so, how late do you have to work tonight? Um, until people leave, I guess? And when do people leave? I don't know, after people clear out. <laughs> Why is she being so uh, non-specific here? If you can't be by yourself, then you probably shouldn't be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I totally get that. Yeah, Alexis did jump into relationships pretty much as soon as they arrived there. That is a uh, personality trait that some people definitely have. They, they need to be in a relationship, no matter how bad it is. They just need to have someone at all times. I ran the second largest retail video chain in North America, so. Oh, that's good to hear. So you're used to coming in second, huh? Could I get a nomination? <laughs> oh my God, Roland. There you go. Well, wow. how about that? Thank you. You're very welcome. You signed under date. Yeah, like that's gonna make a difference. Okay. Come here, you. Oh my god, Roland. <laughs> I still can't figure him out. Is he trying to do this on purpose? I'm going to a bar to meet someone. Who? I don't know yet. Oh. She's just going out to get a bit of, uh, bit of you know, a bit of jiggery pokery. Now, how diverse is the clientele at this local drinkery? I would say very diverse. I can't remember what life was like before dating apps. Both excited and terrified for tonight. <laughs> I don't think I ever said you could come. Okay, so what time though? Um, and is there a dress code? Because I just want to come prepare it. So that I can meet somebody. <laughs> I'm in room seven, in case you need me. See you later. It's gonna be so fun for us. You know what? It's good to see David finally get a bit of a return 
jab yeah, on sure. um, Stevie there. She's had a few pretty hilarious moments at David's expense recently. <laughs> Moira, being on council could leverage our position considerably in this town. It's not worth it. You saw me struggle to get those modest planters for the motel. Trying to get council to focus on the simplest thing is like wrangling monkeys. Well, I can wrangle monkeys. It's called running a Wrangling monkeys. <laughs> I, I, I know you dated David, but everyone's allowed a mistake. Am I right? You sound like my conscience. <laughs> Almost uncontrollable urge to talk to people or be complimented or... I know everyone in this town, so for the most part, I would rather be here by myself than engage in meaningless conversation with people I don't care about. All right, that's pretty, pretty clear cut. I understand that. I have decided to throw my hat in the ring and run for council. Oh, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm currently running unopposed, so... Uh, have you spoken to Roland recently? What was it this morning that made you say I would make such a great councilwoman? Oh, I just heard you were running. Are you? No. no. That short-haired lady who loves Moira is loving this. I don't think it's such a bad idea for someone else to run. A little healthy competition, never hurt anyone. Yeah, yeah see, so she's loving it. I mean, I wouldn't want anyone to think that I was just stepping into this, you know, because of Roland. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if any of you townies wanna put your name on the ballot, I think that's just a- it's Roland, like, encouraging her to do it? Jocelyn to try and, like, stop Johnny? Going to a sketchy bar on the outskirts of town. And nobody invited me? You know how at home I am at sketchy bars? Who are you doing that? <laughs> That's a good point. This isn't fair, David. I'm the one who should be at a sketchy bar meeting randoms. I'm the one who should go missing. <laughs> you can snap the duct tape by just raising your hands over your head and then bringing them down really hard. I don't think you can. Can you? Does that work? <laughs> Just one night, Alexis. One night, just whew, maintain. Or go to the bar and do this tomorrow night. Because I thought about the job, what it would entail, and, you know, listen, Roland drives me crazy when he's not even around, but can you imagine? <laughs> How many more people are going to run for council? Is Twyla going to run? They would have a virtual monopoly on this town. Well, don't they already? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think someone <laughs> needs to challenge them. Right. So, Johnny wants to become the mayor? What are you going to inherit, Johnny? Like, I know this is just for council person, but is he ultimately looking for Roland's job? It would be a few weeks of my time. And, you know, someone said it might be a nice project for me. And would that someone be you? <laughs> Jocelyn practically begged me to take the bait. So you're running for council? Looks like it. <laughs> she is Alexis, by the way, in that situation. She just didn't want to say anything. That's not... Not brimming with options. No. Oh, they're gonna end up doing it. Come on, you two. Just get together. Stop being stubborn. <laughs> no, it didn't feel right. No, it didn't. Oh. Well, at least we tried. It didn't? I agree. <sighs> no, that look on Stevie's face was a look of longing, it, it felt like. All right. Place is looking a lot cleaner. Alexis had a good night by herself, it looks like. Where the hell did she put all of her stuff? Is it all underneath his bed? Where did you put it all? Don't, David. I have nowhere else to put stuff. It's all underneath her bed. <laughs> All right, that episode was okay. I think there was a lot of building this storyline with the uh, town council uh, that looks like it's probably going to take up uh, the last part of the season. So that's okay. The uh, David and Stevie moment. Are they going to get back together? I really want them to get back together. 
Fun little moment with them though at the um, uh, at the the dive bar. It was bad. That place was terrible. Alexis learning to be by herself is actually a really legitimately important thing. I think that people in life don't really understand sometimes. You gotta learn to be okay on your own before you can learn to like be in a relationship with somebody else. Like if you can't handle being by yourself, then it's not fair to put that kind of pressure on the other person. So I understood what they meant with that whole thing. And obviously the big story with uh, Johnny, uh, well now Moira, sorry, running for council and uh what's her name blondie um jocelyn also running for council as well very keen to see what happens there how's roland gonna impact that whole story what's bob's influence gonna be that's that's what we're really here for what's happening with bob what's he doing in the next episode has he got his bagel shop yet but let me know in the comments what you thought about this one don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already check out patreon.com slash fwci to support the channel a little bit further and as always be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace